Hey everybody, welcome back to Sharon's Nail Boutique. I hope you guys are all enjoying your Valentine's weekend. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit that bell so you can be reminded every time I upload. That is the set that I did. We're gonna be using the Una Jella tips again. Here's some swatches of the glitter acrylics that we're gonna use. I'm also gonna be swatching out the colors for you guys as well. I'm gonna be using some of my gold bitch decals, okay? I love these things. They always look so good encapsulated. Using my unicorn sheet on the middle finger with some of those glitter acrylics. These are the colors that we're gonna be using from Glam and Glitz Color Blend Collection. Here's the Peri Twinkle. Very, very pretty. Blew me away. Very pretty color as well. I love blue. Blue is my favorite color, guys. We're also gonna be using Model 1's Nude. And this is my first time using it. I picked it up, I wanted to review it. So here goes nothing, guys. So far, so good. I love the packaging. I love the nude color. It's very, very pretty. I love, love how different of a nude it is compared to my other nudes. That one is Blew Me Away. This one is teal. I'm blue, so this is more of a teal color. Now, there are some pieces in here where you can see some of the pigment in it still, but that's neither here nor there. It's not enough of it to really cause a headache. This one here is a teal acrylic glitter made by Dee Dee Hernandez. I bought this, well, I didn't buy, I bought the brush off of her and she sent this with the brush. So very pretty color though. I'm gonna be using it in the set today. So our set today is really just inspired by um, one of the designs I did a long time ago with the North Star shapes. And it reminded me of the Nike Air Max sneakers that I, they're the vapor or the vapor ones, Air Maxes. I'm using the three in one by Burano to glue on my tips. I did not like McCart's glue to glue on the tips, so I'm using the three in one base shell. And this stuff is amazing for gluing on tips. It's amazing for gluing on stones, for decorations. Now, personally, I would not use this to glue on any fabrics because you'll get air bubbles. It won't make full contact with the tip now when you're putting on your unicorn sheet i use glue i'm using mccart's glue and you want to hold it down on both sides i'm using my 100 150 grit sunshine hand files to get the free edge nice and straight and just kind of um blend these into the natural nail itself now these are not my natural nail underneath i actually left the full well tips on and just cut them all the way down to my actual real length and so that when I do put tips on I'm not putting them directly onto my natural nail I figured this would be better it's kind of essentially almost like a silicone hand with those white tips that come on them and you just glue your tips onto that that's basically what I'm doing with my actual hand because I don't want to cause any more damage than I need to so I'm gluing this on using McCart's glue and as you can see it worked really well um i'm just cutting off excess you want to make sure when you're gluing these sheets that you leave some of your tip exposed because if you don't the, ac the clear acrylic when you encapsulate will have nothing to grip to and it'll just pop right off like one whole tip so these are the north stars that i'm going to be using one of i'm going to use a couple of the bitch decals and now we're just going in with some of that glitter acrylics over the top portion of where the galactic unicorn sheet is and we'll pull some in and over the sheet, not covering it up too much because obviously we want most of that to be showing. Luckily, our glitter acrylics are a good, nice, uh, translucent, not too dark, opaque acrylic. So that's a plus. I decided to pick up some of these four point stars. Not, I thought that they might look nice, but in the end, I ended up pulling most of them off and only leaving a couple there and just going in with the glitter acrylics in and around that nail so not too much to see here just me decorating um and i just added a little bit of cake and peri twinkle to the bottom portion um underneath where the glitters were and i'm just adding a little bit of my glitter acrylic now swirling them adding some clear acrylic to them so they're not too opaque like i said um and just kind of working those in and around the nail just all over the place kind of just adding to the 
funk and flavor that's already there. So I'm gonna add a full bead of that. I haven't named them yet, so I love the glitter that's in here though. Look at how I'm using the toe of my brush, how I'm using that to taper and get that really, really flush to the cuticle and sidewall area. So it's all about the angles and how you're holding your brush, ladies. I add a little bit more just to fill in those spaces. And same thing again, guys, using the toe of my brush and putting it on different angles to make sure that it is being built properly. So turning the brush to the side and then flat when you come over the center. And I'll watch how I work this bead. Clean my brush, but I'm making sure that I'm wiping it and saturating it in between. That way it's being built exactly the way it needs to be and you can if you're used to working with your product you can push your bead back up into places if it's running too much you can still work with it until it is completely hardened you know when it's polymizing it's probably the best time to work with it because it's more moldable i add a little bit more to <laughs> that cuticle area to build up my apex more than it was and then I will move on to my thumb finger, I believe, or my ring finger. I think it's the ring. Oh, the thumb. So I started off with that blue teal glitter, iridescent glitter, the one that I really like a lot. And I'm doing a two-tone ombre on this nail. So I'll be using this glitter acrylic, and then I'll be using the teal, the darker teal one that came with my brush, and then I'll go in with Model 1's nude at that cuticle area down over the glitter. Let me know what you guys think about these colors too, if you like them or not. And if there's any, cause I made these using my uh, chalk pastels. So if there's any color that you guys would like to see in particular, because maybe you wanna see how they look before you go ahead and buy it, just let me know in the comments below. I actually made a video of me doing these and it just ended up going on too long. So maybe I'll make like an updated revised version so I can make it a little less time and that way I could get it up for you guys. But let me know if there's any particular colors you'd like to see because that could possibly help you making your decision in buying it. So just going in now with that teal glitter acrylic from DD and adding that over that next bead that we put down first and just blending that back and I'll add a little bit more drain the liquid out so that it stays where I want it that's the point guys when you're draining the liquid out it's gonna stay mainly where you put it once you get used to building your nails you'll get better at this I promise you now I'm going in with my bitch decals and I'm just adding two so I'm just making sure that they stay where I put them and now I'm going in with that nude from model one now this is a little more tricky because it's a drier product so you want to drain your bead out quite a bit and then just be cleaning your brush and you know going back in to mold it and blend it it's it's a pretty tricky product in the sense that it reminds me a lot of like CJP's acrylics like it's more of a drier system so you have to drain your liquid out of the back of the bead quite a bit so um now I'm just adding my Mia Secret Clear to that free edge to encapsulate the bitch decals you don't have to encapsulate the nude if you don't want to um pretty sure it's considered a strength uh, most nudes are that I am aware of anyways unless it's like a glow in the dark but even then I think they're they can be used as strength but so I'm just going in encapsulating that bottom portion and I will actually add I will end up adding a bead of clear to that cuticle area in a little bit but this is why I'm kind of flipping my nails around to show you guys all the angles so that you can see what I'm talking about when I when I say build the structure of your nail properly 
So now I'm going down the ring finger. This is going to be our marble nail. So I'm just adding my first two colors, which is Blue Me Away and Cake by Mia Secret. I'm just cleaning the brush, wetting it, going back into my certain colors. Blue Me Away, Capri Blue, um, Teal on Blue, Perry Twinkle, Capri Blue again. Clean my brush, swirl them, pat them into place. Then on to the next. So the next one is Teal on Blue, Blew Me Away, Perry Twinkle, and Capri Blue once again. Swirling them through each other, adding Cake, Capri Blue, Perry Twinkle. And then I'll come in with some of this teal glitter and just kind of swirl them through each other. Just finishing that nail up. I actually really like how this marble came out. It looks really, really pretty. Um, I add a little more Capri Blue to that area on the left, and then I add a little more Perry Twinkle to the free edge where it was missing some color. And I think I come in after that and I just um, encapsulate the entire nail after I add like a little bit of glitter kind of throughout. I felt like it was like missing some pizzazz, so I wanted to add some of that like blue flashy because in the light it like flashes to like a really cool bluish green color so I'm gonna encapsulate that as soon as I'm done doing that and then we will move on I believe to the pointer finger where we do a four-tone ombre with cake blew me away teal I'm blue and Perry twinkle and the pinky finger is a full nail of that glitter flashy glitter stuff the blue flashy glitter that, that we like so much the one that we just put on this nail actually we're gonna do a full nail of that on the pinky i'm excited love this glitter stuff it came out so bomb in my opinion i really like it and i was inspired by lucy lucy's nails nail by lucy sorry I was inspired by her colors that she made because she got the acrylics and everything too. So that's what I was inspired by. So I hope that you guys are all doing well and I hope that you're enjoying this video. I really like how these nails came out. I've been, um, I decided to clip down the full well tip so that I can come in and do sets quicker and easier with you guys on my hand. Kind of essentially like using my own hand as like a practice hand or silicone hand. Same idea. So that's why you're probably thinking like, oh, why doesn't she ever do other hand? It's mainly not because I don't know how to. I definitely know how to do my other hand. I just, I don't like to have it done because it always ends up getting ruined when I do other people's nails. And it's just easier for me when I don't have anything on this hand to grab stuff and get tips on and, and things like that. So it's just easier all the way around. So that's what I'll be doing with you guys from now on until I get the silicone hand or until I get more people in. Just whatever. But no matter what with the virus and everything going on, it's just really hard right now for techs um, because it's just really hard to trust that people are being honest and not around certain people and you just have to be careful especially when you work from home like I do so uh yeah so that being said well not really work from home but you know what I mean like doing nails from home so that being said just moving on here doing our four color ombre doing cake then blew me away then teal on blue and then peri twinkle so getting those into their shape first and then blending them and then we'll put the North Star on there, the four point stars. And we will be encapsulating and doing that full pinky nail of that flashy glitter stuff. With, yeah, and I think that's it. That's pretty much it, guys. And we're going to be doing some filing, some finished filing, some top coating that I've left in there for you guys. I've also left pictures in the end for you. If you're still here, haven't subscribed yet please smash that subscribe button and like button and if you don't mind i would greatly appreciate it if you shared so we could get this out to more people we're almost at a thousand subbies guys we just hit 
just hit that 900 mark guys i'm so proud of us i'm so happy and we are growing quick and i just love it i'm so excited to have all of you here welcome to all my new subbies i just i'm so appreciative for all of you and I'm just really excited to get to a thousand and just get more videos out to you guys and more products and just sampling things to show you guys and show you what's good that's out there just anything that you may be interested that you haven't seen somebody maybe review um maybe suggest it to me in the comments below anything anything as far as constructive criticism not being rude or nasty constructive criticism there's a difference between being rude and being constructive um i don't care if people don't agree with my methods let me know what you think i could be doing different you don't gotta say it in a nasty way um if you do decide to get nasty and belligerent and rude you will be blocked or reported or removed from my page simple as that so yeah i will see you guys in my next video i hope that you guys enjoyed watching this one and have picked up some tips and tricks along the way um i hope that you'll share if you don't mind and like i said if you're new and haven't subscribed definitely do so and i will see you guys all in my next video i love you all so much and i will see you next time bye guys